I heard about Kaboom, which is a nonprofit that uh, makes cities a playful city if you have an action plan. And so I thought about it, and Karen McPherson, our children's librarian, she encouraged me to try to get a group of people together. Tacoma Plays is a group of people that really care about play, both inside and out, creative play, physical play, board games. Uh, we like play that's not a, a always adult-centered, uh, that children and people just go out and make up their own thing and play. Phil Shapiro, one of our members who thought of the idea, hey, why don't we, we have this beautiful community center, why don't we have a midwinter play day? We have to teach play because it's not always intuitive. And too many children spend their time indoors with little handheld games and they become like antisocial. One of the exciting things today is we have these Builder Bee boxes, which are cardboard boxes, and the kids build stuff. Amanda, who runs that, she's an architect. She wants children to think about themselves and their creativity and how do you piece things together. And You might want to have a career piecing things together. I got involved with through Miss Rumba, through Pat. Um, she's my PE teacher at school, and this is my second play day. I think my favorite is face painting, but uh, that's just me. And then the dressing up is fun. I remember the last one, they let us, it's called touch a truck and you can go climb in trucks, so that was really fun. And I did the whole horn pulling thing, so that was cool. This one's indoors, so I guess puzzles and things, ping pong, so anything's fun. I have two boys who are ages four and seven, and I have heard about the play day that happened in the spring but didn't get to attend, so I was really glad to know about this one. I think it's a lot of fun to have the community come together and have a place for kids can just play and do dress up or play games, get outside and get to be with other kids. So I think it's, it's I'm really glad that we have this. It woke up the cat and she went, meow. It woke up, she opened the door and the mouse scurried out. The pig trotted out. The cat scampered out. The dog bounded out. The boy skipped out. I asked Contradiction Dance, Kelly Mayfield, the founder of that, agreed, and they're performing an animal, playful animal routine. I've been volunteering with Tacoma Plays. I put in not a small amount of time because I think it's really great for the community and I've met some really wonderful volunteers, but we need more volunteers. We must have unstructured play because play is not always comes out of a cardboard box. It doesn't always come with rules. You have to make up the rules. And play is about spontaneity, but it's also about health. We had dance performance today, so it's all about health. It's also about people meeting each other and laughing. We're gonna encourage people as they come in to dress up and go on to the activities that we have. These clothes are all uh, been donated by various people. Um, we've just sort of uh, got a collection that's been growing as people bring us stuff. If we don't have an upcoming event, then we meet one Wednesday, the second Wednesday of every month, and it's usually either at someone's home or we reserve a room at the community center. It doesn't matter if you say, I can help two hours on the play day, or I could help plan one traveling play group at the park. We want everyone. We, we want toddlers up to 100-year-olds. We really would like anyone that would like to promote play in our city. I'm really happy that I became involved with Tacoma Plays. It's a good group of people, they like to have fun, and we all feel really good about promoting play. The goal is to promote play both in our city and, and beyond.